So in this video, I'm doing a little bit of urban camping. I'm going to a little spot that I went to about two months ago, I think it was. And when I were there, I got some sad news, but one of my family members passed away. If you're a subscriber to the channel, you know exactly what camp I'm on about. And I spent most of the night on phone to family members and stuff like that. So I'm going back tonight to do the camp there once again. Hopefully, we'll get enough phone calls. <laughs> I will come to regret that water. By God, I hope I don't. Yeah, uh, the weather feels weird. It really feels weird, the weather, as well. The air smells funny, like we're expecting rain. We are expecting rain at six o'clock, but that's round about it, just for about half an hour. But yeah. Not really. Anyway, you can't smell it, can you? Really? <laughs> Don't know why I'm saying sniff up to the TV. <sighs> anyway, yeah. So I'm going back to that little spot. I'm going to be cooking something beautiful. You all keep asking for me to bring back to the channel, and it's the steak. So I really just want to thank uh, everybody for being part of the channel. For leaving your fantastic comments coming around every time i upload a new video i know full well if it weren't for people viewing my videos i'd probably just do camping and not bother recording it so it's really nice to show people what i do get up to don't get me wrong i have done a bit of camping in the past where i don't record anything because sometimes you just want to put the camera away and enjoy the woodland without all the recording side of stuff but yeah, thanks for being part of the channel. Thank you for subscribing. If you're not subscribed and you want to do, please do consider subscribing to the channel. It's already. We don't want to be in that bush. So we're going to be camping in a bush, people. But you can see how close it is to this path here. I never realised how close it was. Yeah, that's a problem. I didn't realise this last time how close it was. Someone's built a den there. Oh yes, is this what I've been needing? Look at that. Let me turn you around. If I can just get in here. Someone's actually built a den. I can't imagine being a normal person. Hello? Look at that. If it does rain for an hour, we've got some shelter. Very trashy, isn't it? I've got all rubbish around here. And make sure there's no needles about. I know some will mention that. So there's only one entrance. So there's this one here as well. Look at this big one. Yeah, let's get inside. So what I've decided is, I'm not going to get comfortable yet. You know, there's always going to be the people who say, well, it's an homeless person's shelter, you know, he shouldn't be in it. So what we're going to do is, we're just going to wait out till it gets dark and see how it goes. If anybody comes and so get out, it's mine, I'll just leave. I'm not going to unpack nothing, I may make a drink, I have something to eat, and if nobody turns up, well I'm going to spend the night in here. If somebody turns up, we'll leave and we'll find somewhere else. But I don't think it's all to do with homeless. I think it's mainly kids being creative, what's really good to see as well. Some that's telling me it's not quite a Bigfoot shelter. But I'm getting the vibes of a greenhouse. <laughs> getting them sort of vibes. But, if it does rain, like it said it's meant to do for a bit, I think I'm fully protected. That's fantastic. So this is for dinner. Beautiful piece of steak. Uh, 
in steak, spices, and then I've got crushed garlic, sprinkle them over it, rubbed it in. It's been marinating for about 24 hours, 26 hours, something like that. By God, it smells amazing. Here you go, smell. <laughs> yeah, very, very, very surprised I uh, found this place. And I'm gonna put the steak in this little press thing. I forgot what we called it last time. See, last time I came here, it was like sad news. And this time I've come back and it's this. This is pretty good. I feel like a teenager again, camping out in a den somewhere. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the steak in there, put it over my stove and nicely cook it away like that. One of the videos, I think I did fish in this. Mm, can't smell fish. Can't smell fish. Got enough water there. Got a cup for the brew. I just need to find my stove. Because to be fair, I sort of just stuck everything in the bag at once. And I hope I packed the stove. I would have done. I wouldn't have left that. That's it. I'm not gonna open anything yet, not gonna set nothing up. We're just gonna keep it as it is for now. I have cleaned the floor up a little bit. For now. We'll just sit back and enjoy the sound of the birds. What's going on here? If this don't ignite, we've got a problem. It's working. So, someone asked me why I don't I always make half a, half a cup of coffee. By the time I leave it to go cold, and if I leave it half it, I'll just pour it away. So, I just pour enough out for half a cup, and I seem to drink that without wasting much. This place is more hidden than I thought. Because there's people with dogs just going on that field. Even though this is big and white everywhere, it's still quite stealthy, isn't it? And that is to start getting the stove going anyway. But then again, I didn't pack for stealth, did I? So <laughs> it is what it is with that one. Even though I'm in this big white greenhouse den sort of thing, I'm sort of stealth camping. So I, I think we've gone into stealth mode now. People might walk past this and just see it. But I've gone into stealth mode. Stealth. <laughs> Definitely stealth camping now. Didn't plan for it, but it's what we're doing. My stove is on the lowest setting that I can get it on. So 
It's quite a good little shelter, isn't it? Someone knows what they're doing. But yeah, I didn't expect to be a uh, stealth camping, that is for sure. So in my previous video, someone commented asking about this little set, the Gerber set. So you do get a, a spoon, a fork, but the spoon is a little bit thinner at one end here, I think it is, for like cutting into food and stuff. And you get a little spatula. I'll share the link in the description of this video from my Amazon page for you. And you can check that out if you're the person who asked about it. I'm sorry I didn't reply to you. I just remembered the minute I got this art bag. So yeah, I'll share the link in the description below for this set. You don't have to buy them as a set. You can buy them individually. I think the spoon one can get it uh, separate more of, let's say. Yeah, so there'll be that link in the description for you for the gentleman who asked me about it. You know what the strangest thing is? Because I can't see out from these sides. I can just see slightly through the door and the bit here. I can't see if anybody's around. So I'm trying to limit the noise that I make as well. I need to put another coffee in that because it tastes a bit weak. So yeah, I'm safe just trying to limit the noise I'm making. It wouldn't be a big problem. It's not like you know I'm on private land or I'm not gonna come and sue me or kick me off or all like that, but you know, if they asked me to leave, it wouldn't be such a big problem either. But because I felt like I've gone into stealth mode, it feels like I've got to be quiet the best that I can, even though I've got a little light down here. But that light isn't as bright as it looks on the camera to you guys. That light is pretty dim. It's, it's weird how it works. Like I say, I'll link that in the description as well if you want to see them. They're just like recording lights, but it's literally brighter than you think. It's, it's not as bright as you think, I'm trying to say. I may go on about links or I share a link, I share a link because. I do forget when people ask about them. So if I use anything, if I know there's a link available, I will post it in the description for you. And you can visit them as much as you need to do. That will turn this light out, off for a bit now anyway.
So I've decided everything that I need to do, I'm gonna do it now. So that's even cooking this beautiful piece of steak. Then as it starts getting darker, I don't have to have the light on as much. So anybody around walking up and down or whatever, it's not too bad. At least if I cook my dinner now, it's done more stuff out of the way because this is gonna create a smell and half in it. So that is the whole idea of what I'm gonna be doing. Cooking my dinner early. You can really smell them uh, flavours cooking away. So I am going to let the steak rest for five minutes and cool down. It's been a, a few dogs <laughs> coming close to the entrance and then walking away. But so far, that's round about it. So I'm going to stretch my legs. I'm going to go outside, stand up and have a little walk up and down a bit. Hopefully I get back and my dinner will still be here. So it's actually, actually start that again. So it's actually started raining now. With the gas stove going, cooking my steak, I didn't hear the rain. I do keep hearing a little bit of rustling around that side there. I'm not sure if there's any badgers around here or not, but makes no difference. Den camping at 40 odd years old. <laughs> God's sake, I don't know what I'm going to call this video. I couldn't even work out a thumbnail right yet. I know that might sound crazy saying it, but this is all the sort of things you've got to think about when you do videos. <laughs> yeah, there's the path. I can't remember it being that close last time, but it must have been. It can't have moved or come forward, you know what I mean, don't it? But yeah. You know what? I think I'm going to get back in my den. So what the question is, would you spend a night in this? So I'm gonna do. If no one comes and say that's mine, get out or whatever, I'm gonna spend the night in here. I'm just gonna enjoy feeling like a teenager again. Sleeping in dens. Wow. That brings back a memory or two of that. Uh, building, uh, sleeping in dens corner of the field near your house and stuff 
and you tell your mum and dad but you're sleeping at your mate's house and he's sleeping at your house and you're sleeping at his house or their house then uh, you all end up sleeping outdoors somewhere wow brings back memories that doesn't it amazing isn't it how something so simple can trigger forgotten memories in your head This is fantastic, it really is. You know the side of the spatula, let's put the light back on now, there you go. The side of the spatula is actually strong enough to cut through steak. Well through the meat it is, it struggles a little bit with the fat. Yeah, it struggles a little bit cutting through the fat, but the meat just glides through it. Let's see if I can do it like this. There we go. Mmm. The juice from the steak when it was cooking, it sort of mixed in with the flavours that I put on it. So that's give it massive amount of flavour. And the juice is crazy as well. Look at the juice dripping off. Wow. Someone's going to say, why did you do that? Because you got to be that person. When you think about something, just get do it, just do it, okay? Just be that person. Don't let anybody tell you no, just go do it. As long as it's within the law, you know, I'm not telling you to go murder someone and say, well, English woman says be that person, you know, without doors and stuff, or have any hobbies. Or if there's someone that you love, you know, you really wanna tell them this, be that person with that as well. Because all that sort of stuff's important in life. Be that person in life that you want to be. I am. I'm sleeping in someone's den in the middle of an urban area. <laughs> but I'm having a good time and I'm happy. So I've decided it's five to eight in the evening. I've heard nobody for a while now, so I'm gonna get myself uh, in my sleeping bag. Temperature has dropped. So I've got my arm out here. I've got my army bivy bag with a Four Seasons sleeping bag as well. So now I just need to try and slide this air mat. 
inside the bivvy. I should have put it in first and really blown it up. But I can always move stuff around when I'm doing it. sleeping bag out and then put that on top of the air mat and now that is almost ready for me to get into bed and warm up a bit because the temperature is dropping now it's early spring so the nights are still quite nippy comfortable really comfortable So I don't think this shelter were made for people to be sleeping in it because it's just slightly not big enough so my bivy does hang out at the bottom by about that much but I'm happily, it's, it's, it's waterproof so I'm not going to get wet at all with rain Yeah, I think kids have clearly come across, made a den spent a few hours in it and then disappeared as you can tell it's still raining as well now conversation what I've had quite a few times I thought well I'm in video I'd ask your opinion about it yourself uh, sleeping in your clothes in the winter time early spring like this I've, I've left all my clothes on even my top that I wear when I arrived on this little spot just took my shoes off and basically jumped in my sleeping bag and rest of my stuff on yeah, in summertime it will be a bit different because you will get a bit warmer. But I intend to believe that if I got naked in the sleeping bag to make it warmer, if anything were going on outside or I felt threatened in what I'm doing, I'd have to get dressed to get out. Wouldn't I really? That's why I feel like staying fully dressed for me feels a safer option safer option plus if I need a wee I'm not gonna be naked outside weeing outside I'm so I'll get done for streaking or whatever it's called <laughs> anyway I'll bring you back in a bit So the rain has picked up. I'm so glad I found this shelter, you know, because I didn't bring a tarp and I would have just been in this bivy bag trying my best to keep dry. <laughs> Things happen for a reason, I say. Well, I'm gonna uh, get settled down now. Try to get a couple of hours sleep. I never really sleep too good when I'm out camping anyway. But at least I'm outdoors and I'm being that person getting it done. I'll see it, man. <coughs> there goes your stealth mode. <laughs> well, good morning, people. I can hear a woodpecker 
in woodland further up. I didn't think you'd earn this time of year. <sighs> Did I sleep very well? Yeah, not bad. As usual. On and off all the time. Just been uh, watching the highlights at Formula One practice. As usual, Red Bull are looking strong. That's a bit of slavering went on last night. Things happen, don't stretch my legs right so I believe that were a better camp than previous time I were here didn't expect to find a little den but there we go sometimes these things just come along and make things a little bit better for you I'm glad I did find it because it did rain last night pretty bad so yeah I'm very happy I found that it's weird <laughs> just behind the tree, that's where I was. <laughs> Need to uh, make sure I wash this pan properly. You can see, you see there, there, little silver patch, and there, that's where the most of the heat off the stove will get into. So I need to be careful about that. I might have to use a different stove if I'm going to use this anymore on the channel, because if not, it's just going to ruin it. So I just want to say thanks for watching. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, you can press this here by subscribing to my channel, if you'd like to do, I'd appreciate it if you did. And I'll share another video up there for you, you can check that out for me. But for now, thanks for watching, have a great weekend.